Hi everyone, it's Kasia from Tarot Map and this is the July favourites. Where to start, where to start? July was, still is, but it's ending. It was a weird month for me. Most of it might have to do something with the Cancerian energy, which I'm not particularly well attuned to. Usually Cancer energy, the watery part of it kind of makes me not tired but makes me heavy and I don't feel at my best um, with um, energy where there's too much water in the air and sorry cancers <laughs> but um, I went through a period of boredom if you watch my channel you know I went through a period of four of cups kind of feeling like yeah, everything is okay I still feel a little bit tired and energetically not 100% out there but it got a little bit better we have this um, European juggling, juggling convention in Poland or in Poland in Lublin in my city and I have been hula hooping which was great that was the best which I could have done for my boredom, tarot, kind of overwhelmed, overdone thing. So I went out and went into my body, moved my body, which was great, and that helped me a lot. Um, and um, I think now with the Leo energy I will pick up, because it's much more my type of energy. And... Um, I hope to get back to normal uh, on the new moon in Leo. I've opened my Etsy shop. <laughs> I will link it below just in case you ever want to have a reading with me or um, just see what I do. You can take a look because until now I was a little bit like incognito. Nobody knew actually. I mean, you had to write me an email and ask and how much and what and blah, blah, blah. So uh, this time I thought... I was sitting on the new moon day and I was thinking, oh, I'm so bored, what should I do, what should I do? And I thought, oh, I'm just going to open an Etsy shop because I'm actually working on my website, working in the converted comas, unfortunately, where well, we will be doing it with my husband, but that might take a while. <laughs> anyway, so I thought in the meantime, I might just try with the Etsy shop. I never, have an, I never had a shop before, so... Um, yeah, just go check it out, take a look and let me know if you find any English mistakes or if you think I should add anything or whatever. I would be, uh, I would appreciate your comments on it or just advice and stuff like this. Um, so that was like the grand opening with the new moon in Leo, but I thought it was great energy, you know, with the new moon. The, when the energy starts to pick up and grow so it was a good time to do it and um, I wanted to share my favorite crystals of the month because you know I went to the crystal fair last month as well um, in, in July and uh, I got this wonderful uh, citrine with the, this cool growth uh, I especially like this one here I don't know if you can see but there's a little small crystal growing inside the other one like here and kind of the top of this little one comes up here it's so cool so um yeah i've been playing with this citrine quite a lot and also with this little wonderful citrine i brought at some point from cambodia it's really good quality like nice color so these two citrines were on my in my hands, I love my wand with the lunar phases and just sit on my altar a lot. When I went to this, uh, to Schlenja, the mountain Schlenja, the very kind of ancient mountain where lots of Slavic um, tribes used to live, I found this stone and um, I don't know, I just feel... I don't even know, maybe I kind of started to imagine things that somebody was actually working on it because it has like some weird grooves and stuff, but I'm not sure, of course. It reminds me a little bit of a turtle. My friend noticed that too. Uh, so this is like um, my power stone and I have been really kind of drawn to that um, petrified wood, which has those weird faces, like an owly owl face and now I'm kind of um, 
in love with this particular weaver that keeps popping up for me. It's called the Bear, Dreamer of the Primordial Stories, but I think to me she is my weaver and my kind of connection to the stones. She's carrying this big stone with the faces and in the book it describes her quite scary, but um, the stones and her as being keepers of stories that were kind of locked in the stones um, for thousands of years, you know, because they've heard all this stuff and all the stories from the people passing by and times changing. So, um, Bear Weaver and, and this petrified wood, to me, they go hand in hand and it's really beautiful. I also got something really amazing from my friend from Estonia. Um, I mean, she went to Estonia and she just bought this and it's like this um, seed paper. So it's a handmade and letter press printed and you can actually plant it. You can put it on earth, water it and all these little dots, they seeds. And it has uh, flower seeds and they will be germinating in 7-14 days if you like, you know, put it on soil and sprinkle with some more soil and water well. And apparently there are seeds of um, some forget-me-nots and some flowers from like the uh, field flowers. So how beautiful. I love, I love with this. Such a cool idea. Um, I was also using my Orasoma bottles, so this was the first one which I started using like, you know, like a few months back. Um, I've been using also this one and this one and I'm waiting to be using my favorite one, which is the Hierophant Return in Tarot, Orasoma Tarot. So these were my... Uh, kind of non-taro things. There is a little sneak peek um, Piotr fr from Instagram, he does from Tarot Try, he does this amazing uh, handmade tarot deck. So this is the Van den Boer Van Tarot which um, I had and then I sent one copy to Lisa from Mindful Tarot and now uh, I got uh, because we're friends, so he made me another one, which I love his decks. But we are having a little surprise for you, our viewers, and we will be probably giving away one of these decks. We haven't discussed all the conditions yet, but I just wanted to throw it in. <laughs> it's kind of, he made this little cute bag um, <laughs> for the deck, and there's this extra card. So stay tuned, uh, we will be advertising it on IG and here on the YouTube, so we'll let you know and one of you might be able to win this deck. Um, so with my boredom period, I actually noticed um, that I did go back to basics, which was interesting because I was um, kind of swinging between two extremes. I either on some days were going for decks that I haven't used forever, that were like strange, um, that are a little bit out there, like for example the Antique Anatomy Tarot or Saki Saki Tarot, and then on another days I would be going for, you know, like proper Marseille decks. I even started really loving looking at Ryder Wade Smith. So um, this Ludwig Tarot, such a gorgeous deck. I got it from my friend. Um, it was a gift. Uh, she just sent it to me. She is Hungarian and at some point she just uh, sent me this deck. So it's got bags like this. And it's a little bit different to the regular Marseille deck, but definitely Marseille based. Um, so it's very cool. It's got the Hungarian like, writing. Nobody knows what that means. <laughs> Hungarian is this language that comes, or it's the closest related to like northern languages, like the, you know, Norwegian and Icelandish and who knows what, but in the middle of Europe, nobody understands a thing they say. 
<laughs> I love Hungarian language. Would love to know how to speak it. So this deck is gorgeous, I think. Really lovely colors. It's totally different, you know, um, in aesthetics. So you could see like this kind of European, um, Austrian and Slavic influence in the clothes, in colors, how the faces look, <laughs> the legs of the star. Go girl! So yeah, so the Marseille decks, I was kind of playing with this um, Ludwig Taro. Now I've heard that this deck is out of print. I'm not sure, maybe you can still get it somewhere on Hungarian sites. I haven't checked. But if you get and get hold of it, get it because it's gorgeous. And that's how it looks. And I was also doing quite a few readings for clients and um, I loved using, I just feel drawn to use the Star of the San Crua for people and that works really well, but also the, the Spanish tarot was very cool and um, I just love this deck. The colors and it's a bit gentler to other Marseille decks, uh, but um, I have this vintage version from 75 I think or 79 and it's very cool and I love it. Um, for each client readings as well, but for myself also, I use Joe's deck and mostly for you know where's the full heading we can check maybe the general energy for August let's just see the general energy for August um, for whoever <laughs> is watching where is the full heading so what the energy will be like so that anyone who watches can take something for themselves Let's just look. So I shuffle the cards, then I look for the full, and I take the first card before and first card after the full. So the full is going away from magician and heading towards the star. Well, that sounds uh, quite wonderful. So in a way, we are going away. For what, like it looks like something has started, something. Um, started to manifest and now this manifest manifesting this kind of willing period is over and we're heading towards the star so um, for me when I look at it it would be great to uh, in August to really connect to what we wish for you know beware what you wish for but also know what you wish for so if you started to manifest something like keep going uh, keep believing and trusting that your manifestation will um, happen or is the right thing for you and also stay in the flow with the star I always think of astrological cycles of the moon cycles of natural cycles in which uh, we as women for example go through so pay attention to the cycles but also be honest with yourself whenever I see the star um, I also see that she's naked, you know, she doesn't have to hide anything. She is flow flowing, she is uh, able to be like the channel, you know, and the energy just goes through her and she's able to receive and also give away. So it's not, um, it's a kind of great card for August. It really encourages us to um, stay true to ourselves, you know, and trust and be uh, connected to this abundance that it's really available to everybody and there's enough for all of us. So uh, especially for people like, you know, who live in societies that we can even talk language like this, you know, because when you're struggling, when you're in a war zone, obviously I wouldn't be giving them advice like that. But for us, uh, the lucky bastards, the lucky ones who um, who have now the power to co-create our lives and we still have the freedom to do so. And Star is connected to Aquarius. So Aquarius is a visionary and it is a social revolutionary. Also, maybe in August, you know, there's going to be an important um, part 
as well to keep the vision for the rest of the world especially if we can do it and we can afford to do it and we can uh, we have the conditions to do it because we can hold the vision despite stuff that is happening politically in our worlds because the whole world is you know to be honest fucked up you know <laughs> but it never really was better either so we just have to keep striving to connect to that vision and the social um, better social uh, community you know and hold on to it because this is really important this is how we can carry out and carry on this manifestation and the idea that we had so there you go August seems to be quite a beautiful month to come for us uh, I also have been using this amazing tarot droga deck I edged it black and I did um, kind of patched over with the black uh, sharpie some of the writing here they were like um, elemental signs just like little symbols and astrological signs so this tarot droga droga is a polish deck and it's i love it it's pip deck and um it was made on the pips not they were made computer uh, on the computer but the major arcanas were made on clay blocks and then print it so this would be the star now it's quite dark here but it's gorgeous it was made by polish artist Marzena Czumaczenko and um, all the majors are connected with this pathway and tarot droga means tarot of the way droga is the pathway so this is death it's gorgeous I did um flip through through this deck so you can check it out my soul deck the weavers oracle i have been pulling them each day even though it's just it's too much for a day because they big energies but i wanted to get to know as many of the weavers as i can and um, i noticed that some of the weavers were coming up for me more often than others like for example edge came quite a few times um, I had also, oh yeah, the copper, she came up for me, um, oh, the buzzard, I love her, she is the one who disconnects the silver thread when somebody dies, or an animal dies, lake came up also, she's the moon one, she loves the moon, and the stone, but oh, just look at so um, yes, the Weaver's Oracle and I was lucky enough, you know, I didn't know, this deck just came to me really because I didn't even know it existed then a friend on Facebook posted it for swap in a tarot group and I just was like, what is it? And I checked it online and I saw some of the images, not too many because there was nothing really on this deck and I like fell in love so I swapped with this woman and um, you know when the deck arrived I was just so in love with it I did a review and the review created a lot of business for the creator which is amazing because you know like this deck fucking deserves to be known and then she as a thank you sent me some of her music also this Caroline um, Caroline Heiler and Nigel show so I got this weaving the land and I got the um, Widget Wombi womb and bones by Nigel show and I was listening to all this music also with and playing with the deck and it's just like seriously I never thought my soul deck soul deck but it is my soul deck I love this deck um what else was I using I love the sacred creators oracle like seriously this is such a cool deck and um I love to use it for example I pull three cards of tarot and then three cards uh, of this oracle just to add an extra layer or expand on the tarot well, let's just have one more card for August shall we shift the way to new potential so this is 29 so in a way uh, with this star as well, you know, it seems like um, 
we really have to have trust that we can we can change things even in Poland you know we have huge demonstrations going on because our um, conservative and very nationalistic and government um, is tinkering with constitution actually and wants to change our law system which really fucking hell needs to be changed but not how they want to change it because how the way how they want to change it would be making the the last instantion uh, general court um the response or like um <laughs> it's hard to explain in english <laughs> uh, but what they want to do they kind of um, by the changes they want to introduce, they want to make our courts um, and like they would be res the ruling party would be having like the last word over all the cases, you know, all the over the courts. And until now, the courts were kind of independent of any ruling parties. It was just an independent thing, and we want to keep the independence of the courts because you don't want to have a ruling party like this one for example which is conservative and 50% or 60% or 70 or you know 50% of Polish people go like please don't be our government but you know that happened like in in the US when Trump won half of the country is the, the countries are divided it's half half and I really think the dark powers are kind of screaming and are being heard now because they're going away this old system of politics when everything is one against the other is going away and I really want to see it go this duality this me against you I really want to see with the star and with this ship the new the way to new potential I want to see different politics I want to see politicians being chosen via their CVs you know I don't want to I don't want to see politicians being chosen by a party and they always have one against the other why don't we have to go to work and show what we can do and then you have politics and your party wins and they look for minister of this and minister of that based on that you're in this party but not that the best you can actually do so in my opinion <laughs> shift the way to new potential I would love to see a different way our society votes our society is ruled by people we chose based on actually their knowledge and ability to rule not based on the party they are from and I'm holding that vision I'm holding it so now there is a lot of protests in Poland and um, it's really funny because the ruling party at some point somebody said that these are not protesters that these are just people walking on streets and then that we use people who protest use these people as uh, include them into the protest as they were just protesters and they just walking past so now everybody gets a candle and there's like thousands of people on the streets everybody with a candle to make sure that you know you are protesters so now we have jokes uh, going around that in Poland now there's a new tradition that everybody just goes out with a candle to walk around the city at night just like that, because you know we're not we're not protesting. We're just walking around with candles. <laughs> so yes, there you go. This is my ramble about politics and my ramble about the state of uh, events right now in my country and in the world in general. And I'm just really holding a vision that this is going to pass and this is going to turn into a um, more just system for everybody. And that we then can really also get the rest of the world and make people who suffer now suffer less at least and have this vision that the, the whole Gaia whole world will be at some point free of war and free of suffering so this is me thank you everyone I will speak to you soon bye